Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Azaria, and today I'm going to be doing a whole video. So, my birthday is next week, which means I kind of <laughs> went a little bit crazy and ordered a bunch of stuff off Pretty Little Thing. I came today, and this is how big it is. Hopefully, my address is not sure. I actually don't know what I ordered. I haven't opened up the packaging yet, so I'm so excited. I know there's a few goodies in here, there's some makeup, there's some accessories. Let's just get started. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of me. Open up this big bad boy. <gasps> this is everything inside the bag. So, all together I would have spent at least $500, but they were having a massive 50% off sale of everything, so I took the advantage of that sale and went a little bit crazy. <laughs> Anything that doesn't work for me, I'm just gonna return, so let's do this. Let's start off with this. Now, this was literally $10, I'm pretty sure. The only reason I got this was because there was an orange shade in here that I have been wanting to try for the longest time. I haven't seen any reviews on this palette. This is the Lorac palette, or Lorac palette, beginner's collection, 120 eyeshadows. <gasps> ah, this is what the palette looks like. There is a shitload of shades in here. I don't actually think that I'm gonna be able to use all of these, but I don't know if you guys can see that. But some of them are actually marbled. <sighs> the case is pretty firm. ASMR. Okay, which one should I swatch? Let's go that orange right there. So, one painting. Ah, decent. Let's swatch it on my arm, see how we go. Oh, bitch. Are you fucking serious? It's a little bit chalky. But that was literally one fucking comment down below if you want an eyeshadow tutorial. This is so exciting. Let's, oh yeah. Actually, I want to swatch one of these marble shades as well. See how we go. This one here, the yellow, red ish one. Okay. Okay, pretty little thing. Come through. This is such a pretty palette. Obviously, I'm going to have to use it on my eyes to actually see how it works out. But, um,. Your girl is impressed. Starting off on a high. I'm really sorry if you can hear background noises. Everyone's home. And when I mean everyone, I live in a house with 10 people. So the next thing that I got was something that I I actually lost. I'm buying another one. It is the Desi Perkins Kate O'Shella Silver Aviator Glasses. And this was, I'm pretty sure they retail for $50. So 50 or 70, I don't know. But I also got half price off this. They don't, they don't mess around when they say half price off everything. Girl. This is what the case looks like. And this is what they look like on. So just really, really simple. Pretty oversized. Exactly what I want when I wear glasses. So that's it for accessories. I'm now going to move on to clothes. But we're going to start off with bikinis. My body... My body is not summer ready yet. We can just bear with it. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be trying these on camera. These are the, the swimmers that I got. But they're called Latte Check Minimal Bikinis. And what I loved about the cuts of these are uh, they are so different to your average bikini. This is what they look like. I'll insert a photo here. And what I loved about these bikinis is that they have the tie straps, which for me, um, you're able to adjust the way and the height that you want them. And also the brief cut is very, very skinny. So I really like that. I think it's gonna be really flattering on my body type. I do have quite a curvaceous body, but I, when I'm going swimming, I really wanna make sure that I wear this starred bikini just because it accentuates my curves rather than just getting the normal strapped ones that might actually stick in and make, you know, a little bit of fat hang out. They're kind of like 90s patterned. And also the top as well is 
spoke to me because it was so different. So I love how that the bikini top has the duo straps up the top there and it's quite a low cut too. So I mean, I don't have the biggest boobs, but this will only accentuate. Moving on to actual clothes now, not accessories, not bikinis. I'm finally gonna be able to try stuff on for you guys. This is the first of many. So I ordered this dress here because I thought it was quite a flattering look. It's not something that I usually go for or tend to go for. It's really out of the box for me. So I am really excited. I'm gonna try this on now and see how I like it. Okay, this is what the dress looks like on. I really don't hate it, you know. I really don't. I kind of look a little bit like I'm from the 1800s. It's just the sleeves that are probably like getting me. If I kind of wear this with like heels, my hair, like, I don't know how I would wear this. It's something that I would never go for. If anything, it's the complete opposite. I look like I'm about to do some karate, but I <laughs> I like it, I guess. <laughs> okay, so this is the next dress that I got. It is called the Emerald Green Crisscross Black Frill Dress. Let's open it up and feel inside the material. Oh my God, it's so pretty. As you guys can see, it's a V-neck fit on the front. And then the back is completely crisscrossed all the way down to your bum. No, this dress, my god, I actually cannot do the other sleeve up. And if I put the other sleeve on, this whole front frill is going to completely, this is a size 10. I don't know whether it's the material, my nipple is literally about to pop out. What kind of sick joke is this? I don't even want to turn around for you guys because of how bad. I don't even know how it looks. Oh. Oh my god. I feel like fucking Tarzan. I don't know what to do. It's not fair on people like me who rely to look like this and end up looking like this. This is expectation versus reality. I think this is the blazer. It is. It's so pretty. Oh my god. So this is it? Ugh. Fuck. Oh my god, it's so structured. This is basically what it looks like. I'm really, really skeptical because I've tried so many blazer dresses on in different stores with different brands and they never look good on me. There's hardly any creases. And also, the sleeves are full length. Are these frills supposed to go up or down? Hopefully it looks better with the fucking belt on because I mean these frills. How annoying are these things? Okay, this is with the belt. Obviously not on properly because I am stupid and I don't know how to work a belt. But, oh my God, look at that length. This is such a cute dress. What? See that? That whole, this whole thing going on here. I wasn't a fan of it at first. Now I love it. It cinches me in. It makes me look more top heavy, which is exactly what I want. Like, it doesn't matter if my shoulders are broad in this. There's no shoulder pad. This dress literally cost me $35. It like is just enough cleavage, I feel like. You're showing up to your ex's funeral. <laughs> That was a bit dark, sorry. In the winter with a winter dress, like, oh, I could imagine this with, like, knee-high boots. A pretty little thing come through. Okay, this dress might be a little bit overdone. Like, I think a few people have done this a little bit too much. So, it is a black ruched knit dress. And all of these, by the way, you guys, are in the size 10. So, if you're wondering what size I am, basically, I'm a size 10, 2 and 8. It just depends on the make of things, but a pretty little thing, I'm a size 10. This is what the knit dress looks like. Um, the sleeves. They are bell fucking bottom sleeves. And look at that arm. I hope that's not gonna be an issue with me, especially because it's a knit, it's already gonna stretch even more, which I'm a little bit worried about. It's definitely 
going to be a winter dress. There's no way that I'm going to be wearing this in Australian summer. But let's try this bad boy on, shall we? I don't... I don't know what to say. Like... Either the material expanded inside the packaging or... That is the style. I mean, she does have quite, like, long... Oh, you can't even see her hands. I remember last year when this first came out, I literally wanted this for my birthday. And I am so glad I did it. I feel like I'm wearing my boyfriend's sweater. It just does nothing for me. I mean, the off-the-shoulder is quite pretty how it's got that kind of sweetheart neckline. But, um, this just overpowers everything. What am I, what am I supposed to do with this? How am I supposed to dance with this? If I'm in a club and I'm, I'm going like this, it's just the, let's get Harry's opinion, shall we? Do you like this dress? Yeah, it's nice. Ooh. I've just changed. The sleeves a little bit and I actually don't mind it. I do like how the ruching goes from the top to the bottom. I really love that style dress. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I really don't mind it. I could have gone potentially a size down in this. It's a winner for me. Next thing that I have in here are some bike shorts that I really, really wanted to get. Bike shorts are so flattering on me right now and I'm gonna take advantage of clothes that look good on me right now because my body is a work in progress. These are just the grey rib high-waisted cycle short and that is what they look like. The material is that like ribbed material and I have a dress similar to this from the Carly Bible collection and I think it's the exact same material for this. The only thing though, I can't find the matching top and I want the matching top so bad. To be honest with you, I didn't really look that hard but I couldn't see it advertised anywhere. Um, but yeah, this is what they look like. As you can see, they're super high-waisted. Definitely going to wear, have to wear some seamless knickers with these though because they are quite a thin material, but hopefully they fit me okay. So this is what the bike shorts look like. You can see my underwear. The only thing that I don't mind about this is it's extremely fucking see-through. You can see my belly button the cow okay in what <laughs> you can see the tag you can see the fucking tag is this because my bum's too big for these is that why this is a joke how am i <laughs> uh, oh how am i meant to wear these now that they're see-through now plus i understand there is a little food baby thing, I understand. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Okay, on the theme with blazers, I had to get a white one. So this is a white pocket detailed blazer dress and it is gorgeous. Really nice chiffonny material. Again, exactly the same material as the black blazer. This is a definite birthday dress. And I got it because of the little black buttons on the side. A lot of these white blazers either have like gold or nude or no buttons. Hopefully it fits me well. I'm really, really looking. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking it's just not going to fit me. But let's see. This is cute. If I make one wrong move. Hello. I love you. I, <laughs> I love this. I feel a little bit like a doctor, but um, this is cute. It works. It's just really fucking see-through. You can see my knickers. The only thing I don't like about this is it's a little blazer. The way that it's structured, whereas the black dress that I had fit me perfectly. I mean, don't get me wrong. The buttons. Seems to me right in. But tell me if I'm overreacting. I can kind of see my nipples through this dress. I don't get it. There is no, there's no buttonhole for this, this button. Oh my God. 
Now that I literally just buttoned it from here to here, you go back. We're back in action. We had a little bit of a scary ride there. We thought that this blazer just wasn't gonna work. But this is my favorite one out of all of them. I don't know why, I just love white. Hey, we're now at the end of the haul. This is the last item that I have. I got to the end of the bag and I'm kind of sad. This is a great one shoulder jumpsuit. And of course, in the white. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would see that I have, oh my god, this material feels so good. You'd see that I had um, worn sort of a one shoulder strapped jumpsuit before in a gold. I actually bought that one from Chic and it looked stunning. I don't know if it was color, I don't know if there was a fit or everything at once, but I love that jumpsuit. So this is something similar. It is that chiffon material again. Same sort of material as a blazer, but I'm kind of worried because of the all whiteness. Now this is a wide leg down the bottom. I'm just looking at this. If I wear this out, this will fucking, this will be black by the end of the night. So hopefully, hopefully, this fits me quite nicely. I just really love the detailing. I love how it just kind of looks like it floats across her shoulder, drapes really nicely. Let's do a see-through test with this one because that's all I'm worried about is gonna happen. Oh, pretty little thing. You did it, you really, you really did it. I literally had like plastic, a plastic cover hiding the fact that this bears all. This takes the cake. Where? Where? Tell me where, pretty little thing. Where am I gonna go with this? The model. <laughs> I don't even know how the model did it, to be honest, you guys. I can't. You need to see the bottoms of my feet. Look at that. Look at that. God, my boobs, I just keep popping out. I'm really disappointed. This was supposed to be my birthday outfit and I feel like I wrapped myself up in a towel and was like, yep, I'm good to go. My feet are not visible on the floor. It is not structured. It is the cheapest fucking material. It cost me, oh, it cost me 23, no, $22.50 and it retails for $45. Okay, there we go. There's the big bang. If, if I bend over, I'm trying to like justify how this would work for me. And this line that goes down the middle of this jumpsuit just <laughs> ruins it even more. But honestly, the way that it fits, the back of this, amazing. You can see it's shaping me, right? In all the right places. And then it's just like, bam, tips out for the boys. It's not, <laughs> do not get this jumpsuit. This is a really cheap fucking jumpsuit. Hey guys, so that's it for the haul. I thought that majority of the products were really, really great and I'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of most of the items that I have and the ones that didn't work out for me, I guess it just happened. That is the tricks of ordering online. So I'm glad that I got to mess up for you guys so that you don't have to mess up. But if you guys did enjoy this video and you want me to do more hauls, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.